we are going to be going over how to weld acrylic material, how to get a good strong seam. So first I'm going to start off with a bad weld. Um, right now I'm just at speed 5 at temperature 405 degrees Celsius. And I'm just going to throw my two panels in there with the tape. So it looks nice, we got a nice looking seam right there, nice and flat, but when we pull it apart, you can see we're not seeing it sticking too well. You're always going to be able to pull it like this, but the goal is to see it like pulling apart, having little pieces of glue sticking to the one side and the other. So this doesn't look like that's going to hold too well. One adjustment you can make is messing with your machine parameter, whether that's slowing down the master speed so the wedge makes longer contact with the tape and the material, or you can always increase the temperature. I'm just going to slow down my speed to 3.5 and we'll see the results after that. See how it's sticking? There's those little legs sticking from one side to another. That's what you're going to want to see right there. Now you're always going to be able to grab it and rip like this. That's okay. The real test is the tension test and that's grabbing it from each side and that's not coming apart. If you have everything dialed in correctly, typically the material will fail before the welded seam. The only adjustment that we really made was changing the master speed. Um, you could also do the same, it would work the same if you changed the temperature itself, maybe going up to from 405 to, to 425 and keeping it at speed 5 like that first weld that we did. But now I did knock our wedge slightly out of adjustment. This is going to be another main adjustment to, in order to get a good looking um, acrylic weld, nice and strong. So I back the wedge out a little bit. I'm still making contact with the weld rollers, but I just don't have that much pressure. So we'll see what we get here. So here's our piece. And as you can see, I can just pretty much rip it all the way off. There's a little bit of the tape sticking acting like glue, but it's not strong at all. There's really nothing there. What I'm going to do to make my adjustment is I'm going to grab this knob and adjust that wedge in. Maybe a half a turn, a quarter turn, and just see what we get. Now we're seeing those legs again sticking from one side to another consistently all the way across that one inch seam. Now if you adjust it too deep in, you're going to start seeing a whole bunch of ripples on the seam itself. So I can do a quick little sample of that too. So I'm just going to crank this guy in there. It can also look like this if we're just too hot, really just cooking the material. It's also going to make it a little bit harder for your operator to control the material as well. And you can see that turned out perfect, so you kind of have to get in there pretty good. But you can kind of see where it's starting to warp here and there, but that's very faint. But it's never good. If you have your wedge in too deep, you're going to wear down that wedge tip and have to replace it a lot sooner than you normally would. And then if you're too far away, not making contact, you will never get a weld.